Today I'm going to show you how to play multiplayer on Project 64 so you can play all your favorite Nintendo 64 games on your own personal server with all your friends. Alright, first off we need to go to pj64-emu.com, click on Project 1 to 1 1.6, download 1.6, Okay, it's downloading. Once that's done, just move it straight onto your desktop or wherever you want it saved. Run the setup program. Anyway, you install that like your usual programs. I'll cancel that. Yes. Okay, now you need to go to emucr.com up in this custom search box box search aqz click on the first link there the netplay input plugin head down here to download download this plugin from any of your mirrors here you're going to get a few advertisements on these links but don't worry too much about them just close the pop-ups um, not all of them are going to work so you're going to have to go through and find one that's still there now once you've downloaded the netplay plugin you just need to go to your downloads folder where it's downloaded extract that open up the folder copy this netplay input plugin .dll. copy go to my computer local disk program files and down to uh, project 64 open up the plugin folder and copy that straight into there Another thing you want to do in your where uh, Project 64 has been installed, you want to create a new folder, call it ROMs, save all your ROMs into there, which is all the games that you're going to play. Open Project 64, choose File, choose ROM directory, and then just direct it to where your Project 64 is saved and the ROMs file run project 64 click on options settings input controller you need to select AQZ netplay and for options you want to uncheck the pause emulation when window is not active that's just so if you click off the uh, project 64 window it won't pause the whole game click OK run a ROM and you should get a pop-up window, yep these are all your server commands to start the server you need to type uh, forward slash server and just choose a port any number between 1 and 6, uh, six 65,535 so quite a few numbers you can choose from I do 3 enter server is open once your server is open and you've chosen a port you 
need to find your IP address so start cmd enter and in the command prompt you need to write ipconfig write down your IPv4 address and your default gateway close that Open up your browser, go to portforward.com. Yes, all you need to do is find your modem type, click on it. Should have a guide for it. As an example, I'll show you how to port forward my modem. I just type in my default gateway up in the browser, address bar, sorry. that'll load up my modem settings. I click on the NAT tab, click add, call your server anything you like. I call it Project 64. For your server IP address, write your default gateway, ah uh, sorry, your IPv4 address. One. Then for your external port, you just need to type whatever number you chose in your AQZ netplay input window. I chose 3, so I type 3, 3, 3, and TCP UDP. Save that. Then we go to ugetsignal.com. Make sure your netplay input plugin window is open. And you just want to type in whatever port number you chose. Check that. It should be open. So everything should be alright now. What your friends need to connect is they need to do the exact same process up to this except for the port forwarding and the uh, typing server dash port number. What they need to connect is C uh, connect your IP address which you can get from typing my IP into Google it'll come up at the top there um, and then your port number so mine was three that's what they have to type in Start starts the game. Lag is the response time between pressing a button, button and the character on the game moving. Lag is pretty low normally. My computer's fairly old and it keeps up with zero lag, so you can type lag zero. Lag sets to zero. To name, to change your name, you just type name then whatever you want to call yourself, so use Goose now Goose. Golf mode is basically just zero lag mode. It was designed for turn based games. So you can turn that on if it's a game like Mario Golf or something like that. Alright, thanks for watching the tutorial. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye.